September is Sepsis Awareness Month. So I wanted to go over a few things that use clinically at the bedside that would be helpful. So right now, to identify sepsis, we use the SIRS criteria. So that's a heart rate greater than 90, a respiratory rate greater than 20, a white count that's elevated or low, and then a temperature that's elevated or low. Now, of these four criteria, which one do you think is the most predictive of patient deterioration? So interestingly, the answer is a respiratory rate. And if you think about it, patients who are septic, they have high metabolic demands. They're producing a lot of CO2. They're, the body is going to increase the respiratory rate to blow it off. The other thing is lactate levels are increasing. And how do you get rid of acid? You blow it off. So, you know, you've just got to be careful at the bedside. I, I mean, we're all guilty, you know, 16, 16, 18, 16, documented respiratory rate. But really in septic patients, it's important to look at their chest wall. A lot of times patients aren't, aren't dysmic, they're silently tachypnic. And that can be a huge, huge, huge indication that you've got a patient who's heading down the wrong pathway. So it's just really important to pay attention to the respiratory rate. Even if it's counting it for six seconds, multiply by 10, that's gonna be way more accurate than 16, 16, 18, 16, our default respiratory rates.